Hey guys, it's Logan. Just to keep you updated, the 27 years I spent away had a lot of experimenting in 3D, especially Blender. The best videos I've rendered so far are now with Cycles and Eevee, with advanced shaders and normal maps. The process is a little complex, but looks twice as better. Here's how you can transform your workflow for higher quality videos. First, you need to install the MMD Tools plugin. Download it and open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and Install from Disk. Next, it's time to add models to your setup. For models and stages, click the Import Model button on the MMD toolbar and click on the PMX file you want. You can choose the scale depending on the size and detail of the workflow, but I choose around 0.4 or 0.5. If you have stages that are PMX files, load them in too. You can adjust the size depending on your liking. Now that you have all the items you want, it's time to load your animation. Click your model's armature and press Import Motion. Select the one that you want and keep it at the same scale as the model. Now click the model mesh and reload it. This will import all your facials. If your model needs physics, keep the mesh selected and press physics under assembly. Don't be scared if your physics wig out. All you have to do is press play and let the simulation run all the way through. Don't forget to import a camera animation too by selecting and importing. Now for the tricky part, the final render. You can choose from either Cycles or Eevee to render. Depending on how long you want to sit and wait, you can adjust your screen size to either 4K or 1080p. If you choose Cycles, be sure to adjust your samples to a low enough rate that keeps both quality and cuts down render time. Remember to turn off denoising. If you choose Eevee, you can either adjust lighting for a semi-realistic or fully stylized render. That's the magic of Blender, the much more extensive choices. If you need to fix textures or materials, just open a window and select the shader editor after clicking your model. After customizing the render to your liking, select your output to a PNG sequence and create a folder for the render to export to. Click render animation and watch it unfold. That's it. There's hundreds of tutorials on how to make your video as good as possible. What's good about this technique is you can include other simulations like running water that blends in perfectly with your scene. Now go render something and flex on everyone. If you liked watching this video, maybe you should subscribe and look at my other stuff too.